When George Williams, a really well-known evolutionary biologist, and I decided that we were going to try to figure out how evolution could be useful to medicine, we made a mistake all the time we talked for the first few months. We asked each other, so why did natural selection shape breast cancer? And why did natural selection shape atherosclerosis? And we argued and argued about that. And finally one day we turned to each other and we said, we're asking the wrong question. We changed the question from, you know, why did natural selection shape the disease? That's the wrong question. And the right question is, why did natural selection leave us vulnerable to diseases? And we have six possible reasons why that are in the book. So after being a psychiatrist for about 10 years, treating people with further emotional problems full time, I paused and asked myself, so why do we have emotions? What are they like? If you think about emotions from an evolutionary point of view, each one has been shaped to coordinate all kinds of responses to make the organism very effective in a certain kind of situation. So I'm encouraging a shift to stop thinking about emotions that are painful as abnormal and start thinking about them as normal responses, at least up to a point, and trying to understand in what situation they're useful. Everybody wonders why they have so many unpleasant emotions and why the whole world does, and trying to recognize that these aren't things we should blame people for, that we should try to understand why we all have these capacities. And furthermore, we should try to understand individuals as individuals. A real evolutionary view of how these symptoms came to be and how people's lives work, it really means talking in great depth with individuals to figure out what's going on in their lives and why is it that they're often stuck. And I'm hoping it will encourage a lot more people to study evolutionary biology and do new kinds of research. And as for general readers, I think I hope it will help them to, to be more sympathetic towards themselves and their own emotions. And eventually we will find better treatments.